And this is where the next story begins. After toiling away in obscurity for what seemed like ages, our heroes reached the final stage of their epic project. He's done. Brad, it's time to go! I'm coming! It's you! Little did the heroes realize what laid before them on this, their maiden voyage. Though they had great aspirations to set everything right, their journey would set in motion a series of events that challenged destiny itself. We did it! You have traveled negative six years. What? We were supposed to travel forwards in time. Yes, we did it! Home on fire! How can this be? We completed the calculations perfectly. But how could we have traveled to the past? The polarity must have been inverted. <laughs> I'm stone fire! The old one hit. What do you think we can do about it? I don't know. Maybe get a new toaster? So I think the flux capacitor we got last week burnt out. Yeah, it was the crucial component we needed to travel to the future. Brad, come on! What's taking the idiot so long? Despite years of working together to complete their wondrous machine, Abe and Cleo never did quite give Brad the proper respect that he deserved. At this very moment, had only our arrogant hero stayed with their so perceived dim-witted friend, or even turned around to see if he was okay, they might have avoided the complex chain of events about to be set into motion. I've got it. Here's the four-dimensional space and gravity well. We created the time machine here, and want to go here. But we cannot travel to a potential in a space-time gravity well that has not been realized yet. Unless we add a component of some sort to generate that potential. Yes, thank you for telling me something I already know. But what else can we use to generate that sort of a potential? Perhaps a battery. Primitive, but that might just be crazy enough to work. In fact, if we want to generate 12 years potential, we need exactly 12 volts. 12 volts, and I know just where to get one. Did you hear that? I don't know. This does not bode well. No, it doesn't. So, when things were starting to look bleak for our young travelers, in another flash of blinding light, you their problem solved its Hey, we're back. Now we can pick this up and go home. Brad, what have you done this time? Well, almost. What, what do you mean? I, I was with you guys the whole time. Well, Brad, those lovely two people are obviously not us. We haven't talked to you since your pants are on fire. You. You tricked Brad into going with you, didn't you? That's so like you, always taking a side. Lady, what are you talking about? I don't even know what's going on or who this is. Well, All right, everyone, calm down. Why don't you tell us what happened? Well, I was just walking out of class. It was a sunny fall afternoon, and I was really happy because I had just aced my most recent quiz. Wait, that is not what happened. Fine, I was walking out of class, and I was having a terrible day because I had just failed my most recent quiz. Anyway, we're going to go across the street to get some coffee. No, you wanted to get drunk. Hey, I'm telling a story here. We were just about to go when this guy ran into us holding that toaster. He said something like, I'm really sorry guys for screwing up. Let's go back and Abe can fix everything right up. And then in a blinding flash of light, here we were. Hey, this feels strangely familiar. Uh, what are you talking about? 
I don't know, but we should probably set everything right and get out of here now. We shouldn't even be here to begin with, and neither should they. Hey, come on, what are you talking about? Are we in some kind of freaky parallel universe or something? Well, here, allow me to explain. I don't think that's a good idea. You see, here we are in the timeline. Now, the time machine over there says that we have traveled forward 2.3 years. Which means that Brad here must have gone back in time and mistakenly brought you to where you are now. Wait, we want to go back. I have midterms and prom sets due next week. I don't have time for this chase through time or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, bring us back. Believe me, we're trying. Wait, 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 wait. If, if, if you're you and they're you, then, then who's the them who are you? I left this room with in the first place. I tell you you're a brain dim, but stop talking. Wait, wait. What did you say? I, 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 th I thought I left this room with you guys. That means... The people who stole the time machine in the first place... Must have been our, our past, past selves! Wait, but didn't you say those people over there are your past selves? Not those past selves, our other past selves. From this time. You know, come to think about it, there really are an infinite number of our past selves. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so I'll go back into the past with these guys. You two stay here and go look for that full volt battery we need to get out of here once everything is straightened out. We'll meet back here in 20 minutes. Your time. Are you coming? Hey, Brad, let's go find that battery. Seriously, shut up. Interacting with the past create nonsensical paradoxes? Well, no, Brad. That's not because the paradox shield that I installed in the time machine. See, whenever you go back to the past, it kind of develops you in the shield that allows you to interact with the past without directly causing harm. Okay. See, you could go back to the past and kill your grandpa, and the paradox shield would instantly generate a new grandpa for you out of the very fabric of space time. I see. But that's still to justify killing your grandpa. Oh, here, I found it. Found what? Let's go. Meanwhile, back in the past, Cleo has tied up a loose end in the timeline by returning the misplaced incarnations to their proper place. You have traveled negative 2.3 years. Okay, you guys are back where you belong. Please look into the red light here. Just kidding, it's only a cell phone. But seriously, try to forget what you've seen today. Good luck.
And so we return to our hero's past. Their past selves carried on with their lives, writing tests, sleeping in, doing problem sets, and the like, as if nothing ever happened. And then, one day, years later, as fate played its role, something extraordinary happened. Again. So how about that Hydro One test we took last week? Yeah, I know. We totally shouldn't have taken the energy option. Who would have thought we'd be the only two people to take it? Oh wait, isn't that us over there? that right through time? Precisely! Hey, let's go and take that time machine for ourselves. What, you mean steal from us? But why? So we can go to the future and steal some Spurs Almanac and get rich, just like they did in Back to the Future. Don't you mean Back to the Future too? And why don't we just go back there and ask them for it? Don't you remember how they sent us back to where we came from before? Yeah, but maybe they've changed since then. Oh, just shut up and get in here. It is often interesting how time travels in circles. Perhaps then, it is not something to be trifled with. You have traveled negative 2.3 years. Not two years, but we are supposed to go to the future. I, I thought it would be easy. I've seen Abe do it before. You guys didn't actually tell me what I did wrong. No matter. We've traveled back two years. Think of all the stuff we can do. All the possibilities. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Well, I guess, say, eh, but how are we going to fit 42 kilos of potatoes into the back of a smart car? You can't. But we can go back and return this crappy programming textbook we bought back in first year within the 30-day limit. You still carry that around with you? Yeah, why not? What, in the event that you would somehow travel to the past within the 30-day limit? No, in the event that an alien race, which coincidentally uses the same or compatible programming interface, invades Earth, and the only way to stop them is to program a computer virus that will sell out their network with some sort of an infinite killer loop. But so long as we're here, I might as well get my hundred bucks back. To the bookstore! I'm really sorry, guys, for, for screwing up. Let, let's go back and, uh, and Abe can fix everything right up. Who says time travel doesn't pay? Nobody. Let's go and do something I've always wanted to do. There you are. You're coming back with me this instant. Don't worry. She and I are the exact same person. Therefore, I have the advantage. I know exactly where to go where she'll never find us. Run! This key. There you are. Damn it.
Well, this one is even better than the last. Damn it! You don't even run all you want, but... Yes, we can! Go, go, go! they needed to repair the time machine and head home. Hey, what's that? The 14th time. It's a battery. A battery. It will help us fix the time machine and get you home. See, a battery has two terminals across which there exists the potential to do electrical work. Using that electrical potential, we're going to convert it to a time potential within the four-dimensional gravity well using the Katata Temporal Converter and that will boost us all the way to the future and help us get you home. Oops, look at the time. Peter hates it when we're late. Damn it! Damn it. You simpleton! You see, I am the exact same person as you. Therefore, I have the advantage. And I have a time machine. Good, looks like you found a battery. Here, you fix it. Seriously, what were you thinking? Now get out of here and try to pretend nothing ever happened. What she means to say is, if you let this encounter affect the rest of your lives, you may end up destabilizing the entirety of the space-time continuum. You really shouldn't get too involved in this time travel business. Unless you have a really good reason, like putting the timeline back to its proper state. There, it's fixed. Good, now we can finally get out of here. I can still hang out with you guys. And so, our heroes found a new friend, and they all tried to put these recent events behind them. The thought, however, of returning Brad to his proper place and time was always at the back of their minds. Under the guise of building an ultra-efficient toaster, they obtained the resources necessary to build their own time machine. As the events of their past fade, this is where this story ends. And this is where the next story begins. Come on, Brad, it's time to go. I'm coming. Ah, <laughs> ah,